because that will make me feel safe. Alright, so my name is Art. And I was in a band. I was in a band uh, that was around before probably everybody here was born. Um, I'm not doing any songs in that band. I like Brian exclusively covers. Mainly political songs, I'm saying the only political songs, but I called an audible at the last minute because I want some friends of mine to come up and sing the song that we play together are necessarily cool, but fun. Um, just, just a few words before I play. Uh, I know that one of the worst things that we can do is, is like politicize disasters and human suffering, and unfortunately, they seem to politicize everything in the United States. And, um, I'm not joking about that as well because I think that, you know, I know that a lot of the suffering that's going on in Haiti is, has to do with politics and with parasitical people that, uh, that take 98%, 98.4% actually, of every dollar and put it in the pockets of profiteers. And this is why what we're doing here is really important because 100% um, of every dollar that is raised is going directly to Haitians. And um, I think that you should all be proud of yourselves for being part of this. And um, I just see a lot of young faces and it reminds me of something, something that, uh, it, well, it, it, as somebody who's older, it, it inspires me. Because I feel closer to you than I do to people my age because I'm like the anomaly. You know, Winston Churchill once said that like a man at 20 who isn't a liberal, who isn't a liberal as a man with no heart, but a man at 40 who's still a liberal as a man with no brain. Well, I don't want to be a brain man, so I want to change the world still. So I'm, okay, anyway, I spoke, I'm talking about this. This song is by, uh, by another dude who's, who's even older than I am and still wants to change the world. He didn't write it, but this is his version. It's Billy really bragging. The song is called The World Turned Upside Down. And uh, here it is. Can everybody hear everything? I really don't know 
speech and this is even more pertinent now because one of my one of the most beautiful people that have come into my life was one of these victims. So this is a song this is called, a song called The Birmingham Six and, and the subject is very specific. It's about the British government framing uh, six uh, six IRA activists back in 1974 even though they were completely guilty and they were exonerated in 91 but this shit still goes on and, and the United States maybe the child is England but the child is not done the, the, the parent and we're really good and bring people up here, so anyway, this is song. Song. I think it's awesome. 
By the way, he didn't write either of these songs. I just know them through him. This is um. This is like endemic to the labor movement. It's called "There's Power to You," and so I'm gonna try not to butcher it. But if I do, I'm just you know, you guys can feel free to throw things at me. Just don't break the guitar because I'm poor and I can't replace it. This is my aunt, the DIY aspect of all this. Huge Billy Bragg fan, and when Billy Bragg just played in DC, he didn't come to New York. Will texted me that um, Billy had Billy Bragg had stronger carved on his guitar. Anyway, okay, so here we go. Okay. Right. I know how to play the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So we're going to do the last time now on you. We have an idea. What's our idea for the vegan, the vegan kosher restaurant? What's going to be called? Nosh. Nosh tour. Yes. <laughs> But you guys are dressing back up with her, too. You know what I love? I love that the people singing back up have better voices than the guys singing lead. This is a bizarre of a show. Well, I just kind of learned, so. Okay, Ashley, you ready? 
This is by like seriously the greatest man ever. I don't care even even when I was like the most like 16 years old. Yeah, fuck you, punk rock. Fuck you, hardcore. That's it. I couldn't like ever say that I didn't like the Beatles. So. <laughs> And then I grew up and realized that I like what I like and I don't care. And now I love the Beatles even more every day. Actually, I just love the Beatles more now than I did when I began this sentence. <laughs> and Richie told me an awesome Paul McCartney anecdote. Come see me later and I'll guide you to him because he's more of a rapping tour than I am. I'll just ramble. <laughs> you ready, Amy? Two instructors, remember? <laughs>
extremely funny. You should be up here doing stand-up routine because he is funny. Anyway, but these are the people who brought me in on this and my small my small contribution it's has had such an incredible effect on my soul and I need this in point in my life. And, and so thank you to all of you, all the people I mean, all the people I don't know, and that will probably never mean that are doing a, you know, a direct a direct act of of humanity. So anyway. I'm not gonna go into my angriest song though. <laughs> yeah, Neil Young. Richie and I discussed this too. We had a great ride out, apparently. He's, here's the one dude that never sold out. He was the most punk and he wasn't punk. He, he um, I once saw a documentary on this. I swear I'll shut up in a minute. He, uh, he was watching, he was watching the news program and he saw about the Kent State massacres, you know, because, because, uh, because young people um, voicing their opinions is apparently very, very dangerous, but, but some lunatic that goes on the internet and raves about things and then grabs a gun and goes and kills somebody, that's not worth the government's attention, but anyway. Um, and then there's one more thing. The song was played, it was, it was um, written by Neil Young, and it was recorded by Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, and then there's like, a connection here, because this person right here... <laughs> oh, no! Yes, yeah. this, person right here, this is Ashley Bird, oh. with an exclamation point, in lights, and bold face, and underline. She was driven to uh, her school dance by, by Graham Nash because she was dating his son. And it turns out that she actually knows all of these, all of these, she knows Crosby. I don't know them. Semicolon, <laughs> Stills, Semicolon, Nash, comma, and Young. So this has this very special thing, you know? Guys hanging around with my boyfriend. Oh yeah, it's, it's only Young. <laughs> anyway, this song is called Ohio.
And this is a piece I entitled Can you uh, can you rapidly aging man with rapidly deteriorating hair and he's still to me? I just discovered uh, like a few gray hairs here today, by the way. And I'm, I'm dedicating this song to them right here. Okay, so um, I want I want to have Richie come back up and he's gonna play Ryan's guitar. Oh, by the way, can we talk about like wait I didn't do this. Uh, Ryan Ryan. Um, wait, wait, I have like wait, I have to think about this. Okay, so Sir Duke. I don't even like try to sing along to this song, let alone try to like figure it out and play it in like the comfort of my own room. This fucking guy comes here. <laughs> but his voice, right? Where'd you get that voice? Dude? You know, I, I really... <laughs> and he fucking kills it. Yeah. So, thank you to him. Thank you to this guy right next to me, who also has a beautiful voice. Um, thank you to Mo, who is yet to play and has like the dude. His voice is like these are dulcet tones. I saw him speak the other night with Andy, and I was completely inspired. Like I said, I needed this. I've had some really bad shit happen lately, but anyway. Um, and yeah, so his voice you'll hear. And then uh, and also to Vinny, who is uh, coming up, and I'm sure everybody's really excited to see because I know I am. Anyway. So this is Richie, this is Ashley. I want I want my my the man, the engine behind me, why I do anything anymore, Andy Stepanian to come up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right now. Like right this second. Oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna I, dude, I got a lot to say, don't worry about it. Of course you know. <laughs> so, well, you know, sometimes sometimes I used to tell my parents, like, well you gave me a voice, why shouldn't I use it? Shut up, Arthur. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Deep before the week. Um, Andy, you're going to take the lead. You're going to take the lead. Andy, you want to stay with Andy? And then Richie and I will be here. Does anybody want to come up and do this with us? Uh, anybody, everybody's welcome. I'm welcome with James Shevsky. We're going to do like an incredible protest song. Um, it's, it's, uh, and you know, it really ties in because it, it, um, um, Ashley's first boyfriend's dad was also in this band. So. <laughs> This is Buffalo Springfield. Graham Nash was in Buffalo? No, it's Steven Stiller, right? Steven Stiller. It's Steven Stiller, so there's one degree of separation, okay? But I do, I did. Steven Stiller teamed up for a He Got Game soundtrack to do the same song again. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I'm still waiting for Turquoise G to do it. Woo! TG Wright! Can we? Will, will James Shepsky come up? Will Cassandra Callahan come up? Will Courtney Roach come up? Ah, uh, jeez, I got three declines in one, that's three strikes, goodbye, I'm done, they can do this himself. <laughs> Alright, anybody, does anybody want to come up? Anybody, like, who knows this song? Seriously, I'm not joking. Nobody? I mean, come on, you're young, but this song is even older than I am. What, what song is it? Oh, it's For What It's Worth. <laughs> Which is really misleading, it's the one that should be titled, Stop, Hey, What's That Sound? Yeah. Come on, anybody want to come up and pop this song? Exactly. Anybody? I'm dead serious, seriously, come on. Alright, well if you feel inspired, start singing right there and just walk it up. Alright, Richie has to count it off because I have ADHD and I just like, play it really fast and punk rock style. So Richie's gonna count it off and here he is. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so I have real guitar player, real singers, and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five.